The Mid-America Gospel Music Association Lifetime Achievement Award is presented each year to the person or persons who have influenced the growth and promotion of Southern, country, and bluegrass gospel music. This award is designed to honor those who have dedicated a significant portion of their life to the field of gospel music, either as a singer, musician, songwriter, radio personality, or promoter. The general membership of MAGMA submits nominations of those within the industry who have been influential in their careers, and they are later voted on by the board of directors. We seek to honor both the local artist who has influenced and mentored the new generation of performers, as well as those from our region whose music has impacted the national gospel music industry. It is our pleasure to be able to honor those pioneers who have and still are representing the ministry of gospel music. Tonight's Mid-America Gospel Music Association Lifetime Achievement Award winner was born June 18, 1935, the son of Ed and Alice Barr. At the age of six, he would move to St. Louis, Missouri, where he attended Southside Free Will Baptist Church. On Sunday night, June 29, 1947, he gave his heart and life to Jesus Christ. We are proud to present tonight's recipient, legendary tenor, Finus Barr. Finus began singing gospel music with his sisters, Irma Lee and Georgia, as part of a group called the Lester Gospel String Band, under the leadership of Mr. and Mrs. Harvey Lester. Their first song was Just a Closer Walk with Thee. In the early 50s, Finus, along with fellow Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Ralph Green, would join together to form the Happy Rhythm Boys. Finus received his early music training by attending the Stamps Quartet School of Music. There he would have the opportunity to sing with gospel music legend Bill Gaither with his school group, the Five State Quartet. In 1953, Finus's favorite bass singer, Barney Barrel, would call and ask him to join the Victory Quartet. Finus would spend over 19 years with the Victory Quartet, singing with them at several different points of his career. Through the years, Finus has sang with several other noted groups. His group, The Believers, would feature a fine young drummer, P.D. Murdoch, who would later join the Lesters and become a charter board member of Mid-America Gospel Music Association. Other notable groups are Bruce Moses and the Gospel Heirs, the Singing Disciples, the King's Men, the First Assembly Quartet, New Beginning, and the Blood Washed Band. Finus has always believed in the Gospel Singer's Creed. Since singing the Gospel is the most beautiful way to preach the Gospel, I'll try to sing the best I can. Since my talent is granted to me by my Lord, I'll use it for His glory. Since I shall spend a lot of time singing of the Lord, I'll strive to learn more about him. Since his spirit surely must guide the pen of most gospel songwriters, I pray for his spirit to express itself in my singing and to aid me to sing in a more spiritual way. With over 10 recordings and one solo project, Finus is still singing today with Jerry Beers in Gospel Bluegrass from Steelville, Missouri. He is very grateful to the Lord for the blessings he has received singing. He is also grateful for his family, Diane, his two daughters, four grandsons, and one great-grandchild. Please join us as we welcome to the stage tonight our Mid-America Gospel Music Association 2007 Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Mr. Finus Barr. Well, right away I found myself seated in a pew, gathered with the people, enjoying something new. The thing that I like better than the dinner. 